In this video, I'll show you how to collimate your PowerSeeker 127 EQ. Okay, I've got a PowerSeeker 127 EQ here, and it's out of alignment. So I've got a laser collimator in here, and you can see that the on my hand that the laser is coming out, it's not hitting the mirror correctly. I'll take the camera in and take a closer look. Okay, so I don't have a center spot on there, but I can see by eye that it's really, really high. And so I still have the uh, lens in here. This is the Bird Jones lens. It's basically a Barlow lens. So what I'm going to do to fix this, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'll take this out so that we just have direct sight without the lens. I'll put a center spot on the mirror and then we'll go from there. So if you extend this all the way, it'll go to a certain point and then stop. So you can't remove it that way. Take out these little screws on the bottom. Okay, so here's the assembly. Got two screws, the gear. So I'm going to put this aside and not move this. So now we can extract this. And um, here's the lens. And so I'm going to very carefully unscrew this. I'm going to have to take it over to the bench. Okay, so. This requires a special tool, you know, basically a really wide screwdriver, but I just don't have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to very carefully, just as gently as I can, try and untwist this. Okay, so the lock ring is loose. I'm going to be very careful not to damage anything in here. Okay, so there's the lock ring. Now, in order to get that out, I think I'm going to get some cotton. The last thing I want to do is touch that. Okay. So I'm going to be very, very careful and put it in exactly the way I took it out without ever touching it with my fingers. Okay, let's go back to the telescope. Okay, so now we can put this back in. And so what I'm gonna do, since it's a nice clean fit, I'm gonna leave the little mechanism off until the very, very end. Now we'll put our laser collimator in here. And the purpose of doing that is we now have a smaller refined dot. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the main mirror out and put a center spot on the mirror. Okay, now here's how this is set up. We have six identical screws and just looking at it is very difficult to tell which ones of these screws does which because we don't have any thumb screws or anything. This is how it came from the factory. So I have put some tape here and if you're going, let's say, clockwise, this would be the latest one, the latest position of each one. So this would be approximately 2 o'clock, this is about 6 or 6.30, and this is about 10. Those screws are the actual collimation screws that adjust. And, secondly, they're the ones that hold it to the telescope. So these screws right here are the lock screws. So we're going to just loosen them up a little bit. 
the ones without the tape. And I highly suggest you put some tape on so you don't get this mixed up. Okay, and then I'm going to use these as little handles, okay? And the next thing you do is you loosen the adjustment screws, and these can come all the way out. Now the last one you want to be very careful with, because you don't want this cell to drop on the floor, okay? So on the very last one, I'm going to grab a hold of it. Okay, and that one... That's the, see, I, all right, I get it started, and then I'm going to stop with the wrench. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use my fingers, and I'm going to hold the cell. So I'm going to take a little bit of the slack off of here, okay? Because you don't want them at, at pulling it. Now we can take the mirror cell out. I'm not letting go. I'm going to put my screw down on the table. Now you can take these out very carefully and the whole cell will come out, all right? So here's, here's what's going on with this particular design. So the cell is held in place uh, by these brackets and then you're going to see three rubber boots around here. No, most Newtonians have springs and so these are little rubber boots that have a little bit of flex, not very much, and they are what you do to adjust. Now, I, if this doesn't collimate the way I want to correctly, I'm going to remove these and replace them with springs. But because they're glued in place, they stay there and allow me to put it on a little easier. And then these are the locking screws. And so the locking screws, if you look on the left here, Spin this down so you can see it. Okay, you see it a little bit better. So the locking screws just go on this surface right here. And the adjustment screws go all the way through and they're threaded. And so you want to have these locking screws loose because you want to have as much play as you possibly can through those rubber boots. And so now that we have that there, I'm going to put the center spot on the mirror. Okay, so this is a 5-inch mirror. And so I don't have one of those fancy um, rings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get close. I'm going to come in at 2.5 inches and get a little piece of tape and do a preliminary mark. And then go this way. And so I've got to correct, so I can see that's, I'll do another preliminary mark. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a little circle with the Sharpie. I'm going to use these as a guide. I'm going to put one little dot where I think it is. And I measure it from all different angles. And you know what? I got it pretty good. Alright, so I'll go ahead and take my tape off very, very carefully. I never push it all the way down, so I got these flaps. And then I'll draw just a little circle around that. And I think I need to go just slightly to the left. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But I want to be able to see a little bit better. Okay. Now, that will give me a, a pretty good target here and I don't think it's going to have any real effect on the image because it's got a blind spot there anyway from the secondary mirror. Alright, so now very carefully align the boots 
with the right hand part of the hole. And I'm going to grab onto these as a handle. And then I'm going to very carefully thread these in. And you can have to lift it up a little bit because you want the holes to be aligned. Okay, and do them all finger tight to make sure that you're not cross threading any of the screws. Never use the screwdriver right away until you're certain that you're threaded in there correctly. And if you can do it with your finger halfway or three quarters in, you're good to go. Okay, so only adjusting ones with the tape. I'm just going to come in and just barely get it to make contact and then stop. There is not a lot of adjustment with this telescope. Not without uh, taking the boots off and replacing them with springs. So if this doesn't work, then we're going to have to put on some springs. Okay, now we'll flip it around. And put our laser collimator in there. Tighten that up snug. And you can wave your hand up here. It's off camera a little bit, but I can assure you that it's coming out. So now I'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I, okay, I hope you can see that, but it's not in the center as, as we suspected. So I'm going to move each one of these just a little bit and see which direction the laser moves. Okay, so that got it closer, but I want to back one of these off and then tighten it. Well, that's actually, that's not too bad there. Let's try this one. And then try and make some pretty small adjustments. Okay, oh, that's much better. You see, now I got some, it's loose. So that means I'm gonna have to bring the other ones tighter to try and take up for that. Because I can't go out anymore, you can only tighten the spring. Okay, one more and I think we got it. Okay, right on the money. All right, so that is right in the center of that dot. And then let's check, make sure we don't have any coming out. And with my hand here, it should be no laser whatsoever. And there isn't. That means that the secondary mirror is completely blocking, as it should, the laser. And so now we're ready to align the primary mirror. Okay, so here we have the return laser coming back from the primary mirror. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust it so that we can get that right in the center. Okay, now that's right in the center now and you can't see the dot anymore because the return laser is going through that little black hole so you can't see it. Okay, and then you just take it out of alignment and back in so you can see that more clearly. 
Okay, I'm gonna take that and get that just like that. And so now it is perfectly aligned. With the laser still on, take your set screws down and just very carefully snug them just a smidge, okay? Not much. Because we don't want to change the, we don't want to do so much that we change the alignment. They just want to hold the mirror cell in place. Okay, and I'm watching here to make sure I don't see any, you know, put in the camera view there. Be very, very careful. It doesn't take much to throw it out. Okay. So you're seeing just some fringes on the side, but I can assure you that it's in the center. That that's moving up there is a, a breaking up of the laser. The laser is actually right through the hole because I ver verified it. And I'm stopping right there. So we'll stop right there. The telescope is now properly aligned.